what's going on welcome to another video as you could probably see by the title we are not on another adventure but today we are changing out our seat subframe on the Talaria because when you do shit like this it doesn't end well and shit gets bent all out of whack so we're gonna change that today Got another seat subframe from eBuxzilla. About to slap it on. So, it's super easy. Only need a couple tools. You need three millimeter Allen wrench for this. You're gonna need a four millimeter for this. Pretty sure these are three and four millimeters. If they're not, go ahead and correct me in the comments. Other than that, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket or a wrench if you don't got a socket and then good old phillips head screwdriver so basically what it is super easy what we're gonna do is take these bolts off here there's going to be a clip for the tail light unplug that and that whole thing should come right off all right so first thing i do pop the top right here you got one of these air shims, go ahead and release the pressure and turn your breaker off. Don't want any pressure on this here. After that, start taking out these bolts. Once you get all these bolts out, you'll see this will come right off. Just got your connector in here. Goes to the tail light. That's the last thing to unhook. And then the seat and seat frame are free. Little pop connector comes right out. So the next step you wanna wanna work on doing is getting this plastic tray out of here, unhooking the tail light. Undoing these two 10 millimeter bolts and then these screws here. So basically everything that you can see. Take it all apart. All right, got your screws out. This will lift right out. Make sure it's not hooked on there. Oh. Don't lose anything. Keep it all in the same spot. We'll put that off to the side. Ooh, also, these are eight millimeters. Um, these are 10 millimeters, so these are different sizes. So, you gotta make sure you got eight mil as well. All right, so this is just hooking on the fender. Mine's bent, so it only has two screws in it. There you go, got the fender piece. All right, and the bracket is free from the seat. I'm gonna cut this zip tie. All right, now say take your eight mil. Unhook your brake light. just slips down out of those channels. Really easy, just make sure you don't lose these pieces here. What you wanna actually do before you take this off, since these will spin around, it's hard to grip, so just use the light to hold them in place and get the nut all the way off. Now that the brake light's out, you wanna remove this plastic. Basically what you have to do is you have to pull it past the tumbler right here, where the key goes in, and press this down at the same time, and it'll slide right out. Super easy. So pop it over this, and then push down over here, 
and slide it underneath this part of the bracket. Next thing you want to do, go ahead and just uh, remove the cylinder right here and a little latch mechanism. And then we're on to reassembling. And this is what happens when it's all out of whack. That's supposed to be straight. They go side by side. I don't know if you can really tell. But yeah, this one is super tweaked. And in with the new one. They look very similar. Just gotta reverse all the steps we just did. Don't need to over tighten. People always strip this stuff out on these bikes for some reason. Just put it snug enough. It has the nylock on it. It's not going anywhere. Uh, oops, I missed this. Editing magic. Boom, and it's back on. All right, so after that, put your screws in. And I don't have that screw from the last time I changed it. Uh, but yeah, put that screw in. All right, so next up is the tray. Make sure this wire goes through there, don't pinch it. All right, that's gonna be the end of this one. Quick video today, a little how-to for the seat bracket change. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Comment if you have any questions, get stuck, anything like that. Subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and yeah, got more coming. That's it. Video over.